shows how to correct these problems. The most common belt-related problem is a misalignment condition. The shibs can have angular misalignment, offset misalignment, or any combination. With any type of misalignment, the belts ride up on the groove wall and slot back into the groove, repeating a cycle of riding up and slapping back into the shiv once during each shaft rotation. This produces a constant pulling against the side of the shiv, which is along the axis of the shaft. The rubbing and pulling against the shiv generates excess heat and wears both the belt and the shiv, drastically reducing belt life. In extreme misalignment, a belt may roll over in the shiv or actually ride out of the shiv. If misalignment is greater than 1 16th of an inch for each inch of center to center distance, very rapid wear will result. In multiple belt applications, angular misalignment causes some belts to be tight and others loose, so that they flap and slip, carrying less load than others. The axial motion of the shaft due to misalignment appears in spectral data at one cycle per shaft revolution of the shaft being measured. For example, measurements taken on this motor would have a high peak in the axial direction at 1800 cycles per minute. Axial measurements on the fan will have a high peak at 1100 cycles per minute. Let's look at the data from this fan as an example. During the checks prior to balancing this fan, the vibration data collected in the axial direction on the motor showed a one times peak greater than 1.1 inches per second. On the fan, the initial vibration at fan turning speed was 0.5 inches per second. A quick alignment check was made, and the shivs were found to be more than one and a half inches out of alignment. When the alignment was corrected, the axial measurement on the motor reduced to 0.02 inches per second. The vibration due to belt misalignment was reduced by more than 55 times. The axial measurement on the fan reduced to less than 0.06 inches per second, or a reduction of nearly 10 times. Another point of interest on this fan was that prior to correcting the belt problem, the coast down was less than 7 seconds long. But after the belt correction, the coast down was well over 2 minutes. This effect combined with the vibration measurements clearly indicate that the misaligned belts consumed massive amounts of energy and produced much more friction than necessary for the machine to run optimally.